when it comes to defending against the knife in Filipino martial arts, there's lots of systems out there that have like 12 or 16 different angles of cutting and stabbing. And I think it's great if you're interested in the art side of things, but for self-defense, I break it down into two concepts. I'm either slashing or I'm stabbing, right? So a real basic way of looking at this is just making sure that you are hitting with the hilt of the knife as close to the blade as possible. If I just touch him and nick him, there's barely anything happening. I need to put pressure in. So I'm gonna do more damage if I'm able to actually get nice and close to this. So I'm slashing down and cutting, slashing down and cutting, stabbing in, stabbing in. I can be thinking palm up, palm down, palm down, palm up. So the better that we understand how to use the knife, the better that we can actually get at defending against the knife. So if we bring some footwork into this, because it's always important to train our footwork, in Filipino martial arts, think of drawing a V or a reverse V or upside down. So if I'm drawing my V, feet comes together, feet goes apart. If I draw my reverse V, now I go up and then I go back. Okay, so reverse V or V. I can add in my slashing while I do this. I slash down, step, slash down. And I can just repeat that process, stepping and slashing, stepping and slashing. Now, if I go upside down and reverse V, slash, 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 slash. I can add in my footwork to do both, right? And all I'm doing is I'm just focusing on stabbing or slashing. I always like the concept of making sure that you're slashing into a stab. It's what they taught in the military. Every slash is followed with a puncture. If the puncture works though, keep puncturing, okay? Stabbing motions are gonna do a lot more damage than anything else out there. What matters the most though is when we're training for self-defense is that we have to adopt the mindset of what would a criminal do? What would somebody do who's really, really trying to hurt you? So the more that that happens, the more we have a better chance of understanding what it is that they're actually trying to do. And if they're trying to kill us, well, sometimes we have to adopt that mindset that we have to find the ability to kill. That means we have to be offensive so we can learn how to be defensive. Stay safe out there.